Good Monday, makers. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. This is our series where we get to showcase all the customer builds that have been posted to the community throughout the week. And we love seeing them. We are all about helping you turn your idea into a project. And when we get to see your build and what you made with Maker Pipe, it just brings it full circle for us. So thank you everyone for posting. Let's get on to the builds. The first one we've got is by Raymond. And Raymond made this cart. He, he refurbished this cart. And there's a great story here. His son is getting married in the next few weeks. And his grandson is going to come down the aisle and be the ring bearer in this cart. And it looks wedding ready. He took an old rusty cart, refinished it. And then where Maker Pipe comes in is he made this railing around the side. He used four 90 degree connectors. He painted it all black and he used these conduit hangers to attach it to the outside of the cart. And it looks fantastic. It's a great story. Please keep us updated, Raymond. We want to hear how it goes. Thanks so much for sharing. Next one we've got is by Peter and he made uh, this fantastic dog run for his new puppy. There's his new puppy and needed a dog run for outside in the backyard. And he did it really simply. He's got just a few connectors, two T's up front, two in the back, and then two 90s, and then zip tied on some plastic lattice. And there's puppy, uh, happy as can be in the dog run, and it looks fantastic. Thanks so much for sharing. I like seeing that one. Next one we've got is by John, and John has a company called Goats of Dover. And we've talked a couple times on the phone, and he needed a way to transport his goats. And he wanted to take an off the shelf trailer, which he's got here on the bottom. He bought that aluminum trailer and then make an enclosure for his goats as he's transporting them. And uh, we talked a couple times about how that was possible. And it's awesome to see you pulled it off, John. It looks fantastic. He needed a gate. He's got one of those. He's got LED lights. Um, there it is. You can see the side panels made out of wood that he incorporated. And uh, he just needed a safe enclosure uh, for his goats going down the highway. So thanks for sharing, John. We love seeing you and uh, I hope the business goes great. Next one we've got is uh, that was emailed to us. This build is bike racks. It looks like to be in a laundry room. And what's really neat about this build, it's a mix of materials. You've got the uh, galvanized pipe or black iron pipe here that they use to uh, attached to the wall. And then here you used a electrical conduit and then a maker pipe T connector, our connector to attach to that vertical pipe that they had flanged into the wall. And it came out great and it shows a lot of creativity and mixed material. So we, we love seeing that one. Uh, next one we've got is by Martin. Martin, this is a second time that we've gotten an update from Martin. He's building a boat. And uh, he's building a boat for a specific purpose. He's got a big adventure planned. What he's doing is he's taking this boat from Lake Michigan all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico next year. And he's building out the boat of his dreams, as he said. And it's, that's a, a heck of an adventure. And Martin, we wish you the best. And please keep us updated on the progress. But you can see the latest photos he's got here. He's got... Uh, the the side of the boat all framed out with maker pipe and conduit. He's got the um, the top panel here where he's mounted some uh, solar panel panels. You can see that here, solar panels on the top console, I guess you'd call it. And he's starting to skin it out, um, and it looks great. So Martin, please keep us posted on that. But as a bonus, Martin also built a a bike cart here, which is really cool. And ever since we did the Kickstarter video, we did a bike cart for that video. We've got a lot of questions about bike carts. How do you attach the wheels? How do you attach it to the bike? And I uh, always like sharing that. And here's an example of how he did it. It looks like he took metal plates and then drilled it out and put some screws or bolts that ran through the conduit to mount the wheels to. So it looks fantastic. Um, keep us posted on your projects, Martin. We love seeing them. Next one we've got is by Tom. Tom's actually using Maker Pipe as a fixed for his boat, another boat build. And what he had was he had this cracked uh, center console vertical pipe here. And he needed a way to strengthen that so it didn't come all the way off. And that's where he used Maker Pipe. He's got 
uh, you made this angled bracket that goes from the top all the way down to this brace on the center console and it fit it looks like it fit great onto the existing center console pipe and then he was just able to make this uh, angled bracket to make it stronger and and hopefully hold together and not um, have to weld it or something like that so Really cool, Tom. I hope it works out for you and uh, everything, you know, stays together for you. Thanks for sharing. And the last one we've got this week is by Thomas. Thomas had a bunch of folding um, chairs and needed a way to store them. So he made this uh, storage rack for his lifetime folding chairs. So he, he made it down here and looks like he holds about eight of them. And then he's got some casters on the bottom so he can move it around and put them wherever uh, when he's not used them and a fantastic build thanks so much for sharing and that's all we've got for this week as a reminder we're running the maker pie build of the month contest every month the community picks one winner and they get a gift certificate for more maker pipe and a prize pack so be sure to tag maker pipe botm uh, when you post your build thanks everybody see you next week